Hi guys, it's Pixels Tech here, back with episode three of Widgy Widget Basics. And today we're going to get straight in to navigating our way around the create um, aspect. So we're going to go through the menus and the settings and things like that. So we're going to press create and we're going to choose our widget size. I'm going to use a large one. I'm going to name it and add a name, press proceed. And that will bring us to our blank canvas here. So on the left hand side, you can see our main display where the widget will be. And on the right, there's the settings and the adjustments. And in the top right, there's that grid. So we're going to start there. We're going to press it. And this is where your widget display settings are. So how you see it in the editor. So we're going to add the grid on and we're going to make sure pinch to zoom is on. Then we can pinch it right in and zoom it so it fills the screen. And then you have things like selection. So that's little dotted lines around the uh, asset that you're working on. You've got additional guidelines. You've also got clip to frame and you've got the editor background. So the editor background just changes the color so you can see what's going on. Then you've got widget position, which will be the position for your transparent background. And I've already made a full tutorial on transparent backgrounds. So feel free to go and have a look. And then you've got disabled UI animations, which disables the animations in the editor, which could just help your device with its performance. So back to the main front page, we've now got these tabs at the top, and these tabs are the main widget options. And the large blank space you can see on the right hand side, that will be where our layers are. So we're going to press add layer, and just simply I'm going to add a few easy layers, but here are all the options you have. So you can see there's a lot of options and inside each option there's even more options so there's loads you can do here we're going to add a group for this example and we're just going to call it what we like and press set and if you're anything like me you want to make sure your design's very tidy so i always use groups and then add things with inside that so you open the group and press add and then you can choose we're going to choose a text and you can see at the top again we've got that the tabs uh, which are all of our layer settings and i'm just going to uh, pick a nice and easy API for this. We're going to go through all of these options in other videos and other episodes. So just to make it nice and easy, you can see that we have our first initial group and our first initial layer, and it just places it in the top left um, on every occasion unless you paste it in. So at the top here, you've got your slider tabs. You can actually slide, hold and slide these, or you can just press on the little uh, icon that you want. Um, but what we're going to do before we go into that is I'm just going to add another layer and I'm going to add an image just to reference what we're going through in this tutorial. I've added the image outside the group. So if we want to move the layers up and down, we're going to press edit in the top right and just hold and drag. You can drag it into a group. You can try, drag it over the top or underneath another layer. And we're going to press done when we're finished and go back to the normal menu. As you can see on the right hand side as well, you've got your um, eyes, which is the layers you can hide or unhide. So just tap on it and it places it in hide or unhide, dependent on your preference. So back to the top here and you can see we've got loads of options at the top. This is your automation timeline. I am not going to go into automations on this. It is one for the future and we will do a whole few sessions on automations. But in summary, automations are just a schedule of settings that you can adjust um, based on time throughout the widget. Now moving over to documents, you have your main document attributes here. So you've got your title of your widget, a description if you'd like to add one, and you've got your author name and the option to add a password if you want to on the widget to protect it um, from the adjustments. So just type your password, press set. And obviously, if you want to remove it, you'll have to retype your password in. Then we've got the widget size. You can actually change the widget size between the different sizes. So you just press the plus or the minus, and I've done a full tutorial on that. So feel free to watch it anytime. And then you have the font rendering mode. This is between new and legacy. And that just means that those that created widgets in the past can update them. I believe that's just because of the app updates. And then across here, we've got our messages. So this is what is displayed dependent on what options you have on. So here you can see you've got Wi-Fi on, Wi-Fi off. So if the Wi-Fi is on, it will display what's written in this text. So let's change this to sell off. And that will display sell off when you're using that text value. And to put it back, you can just press reset to default. 
So you've got a wide range of different things down here, and um, yeah, we can just change any of these to whatever we want them to display. So finally in the top we have our history, and that's just a log of all the changes we've made throughout the current uh, session. So I'm just going to quickly go in and add something to show you how it works. So I'll just add a quick picture. Um, and then you'll want to get rid of that picture. I know you can easily delete it, but if you made loads of changes or some finer changes, you can just go straight back to that uh, historical period. So before we go on to the nitty gritty of inside the um, layers themselves, you've got this icon like the phone at the top right. You're going to press that and that will bring you to change your different widget size. So it usually does recognize your device, but you can change it if you're making a design for an, a, another device if need be. Um, it just gives you the option there. And then you can also filter between light and dark mode. And there's also the option down here to change the editor mode, which is um, which will be a photo from your library. And then finally, just the option to clear cache which you can also do from the settings in the main screen in Widgie, but it is an option to do it here. Now, the last thing to go through, let's go and have a look in the one of the layers themselves. So I'm just going to open this layer here, and we're going to go over to the position and size or the adjustments. So as you can see, you've got all these arrows and grids for different position and size. At the top, you've got your move steps. So large, small, medium, and micro, so depending on how fine you want the movements to be. And they usually go down in half, so large is twice the size of medium, medium is twice the size of small, and so on. So to position your widget, you just press left, right, up and down on the arrows, um, and the same plus and minus with the size. I'm just gonna get a better image here, just so you can see it actually happening rather than looking at a transparent background. So yeah, here you go, you can see how big I've made that. Very easy, very quickly made it really big. Or you can use micro or smaller and just adjust the sides um, adequately. So as you can see as well in the middle, you have got these plates. And these plates, you can actually set the adjustment exactly. You can automate it. So we spoke about automation earlier. That would make it bigger and smaller throughout the day, uh, depending on the time you set. But you can just type in your values here if you know what you are. Do it if you've got hundreds of layers, it actually works really well to try and align them. So, there you've got an option there, and you can obviously do that with size as well. And then at the top left here on the display menu, you've got an, uh, the angle you can set your widget to, so it goes up in 15 degrees. And again, if you do want to set it um, to an exact angle, you can press the plate and you can either automate it or update it yourself by typing in the exact angle. Focusing on the top right, you can see we've got the try to keep uh, in bounds. And that's really good if you have it off. You can just make the photo as big as you want or the file as big as you want. And it doesn't matter where it goes. You can have that control yourself or turning it off. It won't let anything go past the actual um, parameters of the widget itself. Then next we have our text parameters. We're going to do a full tutorial on text and stuff like that so um, we'll go into that a bit more detail later then you've got your colors with the various different tabs again going to do a full video on theming um, but you've got gradients you've got the angle you can set you can change the colors depending on palette and you can right click and add it to your main widget custom theme and you've got different types of um, adjustments you can make basically any color you want it's achievable any opacity it's achievable so it's just a case of playing around with colors but we will do a full themed tutorial in the future then the next uh, column is uh, background and same basic principle as the themes you can choose the color of the back of the text you can change the alpha or opacity and just make it to how you wish your widget to look then you've got your effects tab and the effects tab is where you can set your um, shadows or your outline if you need one it doesn't actually add an outline to the text it adds it to the box so just beware you can add um, edge rounding and all that kind of stuff and again we will do a lot more detail of this but this is more of a just go and play with it there's a lot you can do in this um, effects section and then finally, you've got your effects. I have had to re-record this bit because it didn't work last time. However, it is just as simple as um, all the different types of stock 
media and uh, like APIs or anything that you really want in there for weather and that kind of thing, that's where you go to get that information. Or you can have custom text, whatever you like. And again, we will do a full video tutorial on each one of these types of uh, assets. So text, images and graphs or calendars, you name it, will cover everything throughout the time. So as you can see, you can make any adjustments to this. Um, you can add text layers. You can change the font, the color individually by pressing the three dots. And you can just um, make your own text strings with the different parameters inside Widgie. Now I'm just going to show you what you can do um, from the main menu as well. So you press the add image. You can add anything. You can add a symbol. And we're just going to add this symbol. Uh, it's at the bottom at the minute. But yeah, you can adjust any of these things. All the, all the settings, they're different dependent on the asset you're using. But they're also very similar to each other. So you can quite easily understand. And then the last thing we're going to go through is the three dots on the end of each layer. So you can rename, you can insert, you can replace the layer. You can duplicate any layer or any group as well. You can copy and paste any layer or any group. And you can just do all sorts of um, wonderful things with the uh, settings of each individual layer. And as you can see, I've just duplicated that layer and I can copy it and delete it. And we'll just what we'll do is we're just going to show you how to add it into another widget. So you go and press copy, go to the widget you want to paste it in. Press the three dots on the layer below and press paste. So finally, just the front page here of your widget. You can edit this or edit as a copy. You do have all the information that we saw earlier. And if you want to know how to share and import, you can watch my video, uh, episode two from this series on sharing and importing. So that's everything for this tutorial. I hope you now have a good understanding of the create tab inside Widget Widget. And we can start looking into the fun stuff like creating text layers, image layers, graph layers, and building that to make a full widget. So don't forget to please like, subscribe, ring my bell, feed my ego, and I'll see you on the next one.